Too easy on some other shit. Make some more on my feet. I feel lovely. Yeah. Bad little bitch in my face. She disgusts me. Yeah. Fuck, got my way. We don't do lovey dovey. Yeah. And I don't want that. Much. Here we go. What's going on, YouTube, man? It's your boy Kane. I'm back here with another video for y'all today, man. As y'all see by that title, I'm bringing y'all a hoodie collection. You feel me? I was supposed to do this video. Like way back, like maybe like the first week of December, like all honesty. But I was buying hoodies, and I had hoodies on the way that wasn't here yet, and I was trying to see and wait it out, see if it would make it. It didn't make it. I ain't posting a little minute, so I'm finna bring this to y'all. I got like two more hoodies on the way that's not gonna make the cut. Y'all gonna have to wait, see if I do like an updated version or something, or y'all do have to peep it in another video, and I'll let y'all know if y'all ask. But basically, I got all my hoodies in my closet right here. Um, I'm finna just be putting y'all on to where I get my hoodies from. Y'all be fucking with what I be telling y'all where I get shit from. You feel me? So. Yeah, if you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe. Leave a like on this video. We finna get straight into it. I see this video. I mean, I wear this hoodie a lot, like when I'm in the house, because I don't really wear it outside. Because to me, this hoodie is kind of ass. Like, I was in like maybe like 10th grade when I bought this hoodie. And it was bought to go with my Yeezys. Like, these ones. It was bought to go with these, but I never wore it like that because, like, you feel me? I never wore it like that because, like, nigga, that's like going, like, when the, J, when the new Jays release and you go in the store and you see the shit on the mannequin. That's like that. And I didn't realize that until I bought it. So, honestly, I don't wear this hoodie outside the house, like, being all honesty. Unless I'm running to the store or something and I wear it with, like, my Crocs or something. Like, I don't wear this hoodie really. But I got this from Soul Boy, as you can see. You feel me? They do got some hard shit now. Like, they got this one. I'm put y'all on. Because I ain't buy it because winter damn near about to be over. But. Some of y'all niggas got money and y'all still gonna buy this shit. They got this one, this is bubble coat, puffer jacket, whatever y'all wanna call it. They got a bubble coat. They got the like the monogram soul boy shit on it. That shit is hard. I'm not gonna lie. They got a purple one. That's really the one, but if you just want it to be versatile, they got the black one. Y'all gonna cop that off of Soul Boy. Soul Boy is hard, like I'm not even gonna cap. Like this jacket, at the time when it came out, it was hard. Like I really thought this like to me this was the one when I bought it. Like I was really the only nigga with that shit. Now so boy a little bit more up. I still don't be seeing niggas with it. Like it's more I think it's based in Florida, so maybe they be having it for real, but So Boy's hard, y'all can go shop on there. They got some shit for you. And yeah, they I'm just gonna see they got some shit for you. Let's get to the next one. A cheap one. This was like $35. I ain't gonna lie, the quality on this shit weak and I had to cut the bottom off because like on my hoodies, I don't like having a little um the bottom part on the jacket, so I cut it off. But this is a cool little like graphic hoodie. You feel me? It got the, I hope they don't, like, do some shit to my video because I showed that, but, you feel me, it's hard, it's something little on the front, but, yeah, that's why I got it, bro, I mean, if y'all, y'all see, I ain't gonna point it out, but if y'all see, that's why I got the hoodie, you feel me, I just thought this was hard, it's something cool, um, I never really, I haven't really wore this yet, I don't really go nowhere, honestly, like, the rare times that I, if y'all see me post it, actually, I just posted a picture on Instagram, make sure y'all go like that, you feel me, Instagram on the screen, the description, all that, but, only time I really leave the house is if, I'm going to my crib, I'm going to the gym, or I'm going to take a picture. Like, I just go take a picture right quick and come right back in the house. Like, I'm not even lying to you. But, yeah, I haven't worn this one yet. I was thinking it was going to be, like, better quality than this, honestly. That's why I haven't, like, bought this one. But this brand is called Unintended. I dropped fucking toothpaste on my shit. I gotta wash this. But, um, Unintended was on Instagram. It was, like, $35. Real cheap. Yeah, you get what you pay for. Man. So, unless when we get farther into the video, you're going to see you get what you pay for, my nigga. But, Cool little graphic hoodie, $35, unintended on Instagram. Here's another hoodie that y'all ask about a lot, the It hoodie. Um, this ain't nothing special. I got it from H&M, you feel me? H&M will always have like little hoodies. Like, I'm gonna get the other ones from H&M. Wow, well, yeah, this is the Ghostbuster one. It still got nothing on the back, but this is the It one. H&M, you can always go in H&M and find a hoodie type like this. Like, they always got like some cartoon, like movie type hoodie. Collab type shit. They always got some shit in here. So you go if you need a quick graphic hoodie, it shows like thirty dollars. You can go at H and M, get you a quick little hoodie, and you straight for real. But ain't nothing much to say about these hoodies. You've seen this hoodie a lot. Like you've seen this hoodie. I wear this hoodie all around the house. I'm not gonna lie, but yeah, this hoodie is cool. But I wear this like I wear this too. But it's like I don't know. I don't really wear it like that. But H and M is where I got these hoodies from. So yeah, if you need some quick graphic hoodies for the low. H&M got you. From, I want to say TJ Maxx, it's like a little Budweiser hoodie. And it got a graphic on the back, that's why I got it for real. Cause I fuck with that shit. I want to get the sale fives, like the off-white sale fives. And I feel like that would go hard with this. But then again, like if I got an off-white, I feel like I gotta really like 
get some shit to go with it. But at the same time, my nigga, it don't matter. So yeah, this is a quick little hoodie from TJ Maxx. TJ Maxx is basically like the same store as like Marshalls and Ross. You feel me? Shit like that. So you can go in there. You can go in any one of them and you could possibly find a hoodie like this. Only thing about the stores like TJ Maxx and Marshalls, you really got to go in and look. It's just not just going to be a whole bunch of them in one section. Like you got to go and look through the shit. Look through your size. See if they got it for you. Um, most of my hoodies though, I, I wear like a small. Like if I was getting a hoodie, but I, I would get a small. Like I, all my shirts and shit, I usually get a small. But recently... Cause I've been cutting the bottom off uh, all my hoodies. I get a medium, so it still hang down like like how the small would fit me. But I can cut the bottom off, and that shit can be loose. And you feel me? It's hard. It's just the the, the way it look. I just fuck with that. So now I be getting mediums lately. I'm not gonna lie. So yeah, that's just to let y'all know before y'all go cut y'all jackets, and then y'all see that the shit too small. Next year, if you will cut the shit off the back of your jacket, you get a size up. It's also from TJ Maxx. I got this at the same time. It's a little Scarface hoodie. My man's actually had this first. And then we spun back another day and they had the same hoodie. I was like, nigga, I ain't gonna lie. I'm getting that shit. Because <laughs> that shit is all. I fought with the, I fought with hoodies that got like graphics on the back. Like, I like it when they have it on the front too. Like, this is probably like, like almost like a perfect like template of a hoodie. You got something nice on the front. It'll, not, not too much on the front, something simple. And then you got the graphic on the back. That's how I fuck with it. So yeah, this was TJ Maxx. Both of these hoodies, both of them hoodies from TJ Maxx, they was like, I want to say 32. Like, it was either 30 or 40. I can't remember. I think it was 30, honestly. It was like 29 99 something like that. So yeah, TJ Maxx, Marshalls, Ross, all that same type of, they all that same type of store. They get like the hand-me-down, like, stuff that didn't sell, I think, from like, I don't know. I'd go for real, but I know this shit is cheap. $30. Y'all go to TJ Maxx. I'm trying to go slowly up. This is an Instagram uh, hoodie. Honestly, I fuck with the hoodie. This is a sweatsuit. Like, I got some pants down there to go with it. But, honestly, the quality on this shit is weak as hell. Um, I think this is first drop, though. So, I can't really blame him. But, it's like, I don't know if y'all can see. It's probably not going to focus. But, it's called Sub Sub Subconscious Atlanta 8 something. I think that his ad is like Subconscious ATL or some shit like that. But, it got the, like... Atlanta Braves logo on the back. The hoodie is hard, like I fuck with the hoodie, but it's just hella small, like it's hella small, like I mean it's cool, like I fuck with the design, like I fuck with what he was going for, he just didn't execute. You feel me? Like he could have got some better, like I can't feel what I'm feeling, but he could have got some better screen printing done. You feel me? But for being his first drop, it's not bad. I fuck with the design. Just kind of just ATL. You feel me? Just just get better, bro. You, you, you had one of them, you got better. You just gotta get a little bit better. This hoodie is also from Instagram. I can't, I think it's called Beware, it's called Beware Apparel, yeah. Beware Apparel. Um, yeah, it's like a, uh, I know it's screen printed, I think. Or like, I forgot, I don't know what it's called. I think it's called screen printed, like when you iron the shit down or whatever. But just bedazzled, got the little hoodie. I got a picture with this on, it was like, it's like one of my hardest pictures, honestly. But he got the uh, the skull and the hoodie, and this on the back. I don't know. It was just hard. I wore it with my Travis's, but I don't. I can't really wear it with nothing else. That's on the bra. They have like other colors, but I purposely got this colors so I could wear it with my Travis's, cause yeah. But I really honestly don't have no other shoes to wear it with unless I um. Once I'm just chilling, I put on like my Crocs or so My Crocs is black, so I can wear that shit with anything. But actually, I just got some Yeezy slides. My girl just got me some Yeezy slides. I don't think it's, it's not this color brown though. It's the like the lighter brown, so I probably still can't even do that. But yeah, I honestly don't even really wear this hoodie unless it's with the Travis's, and I don't really wear the Travis's just out just to be wearing them. Cause like, apparel, I think his Instagram is. I don't remember exactly, but I know it's beware like. His personal Instagram is like PJ Drips Beware or something like that. I found him on TikTok. If we really being honest, I found it on TikTok, but I just had to go to his Instagram to buy it. So I guess you could say this is a TikTok hoodie. We got another Soul Boy hoodie. This is probably my hardest Soul Boy hoodie, and the quality on this one is. Tch, nigga, the quality on this one is OD. Like, Y'all can't feel what I'm feeling, but just look at the way the hoodie falls. Like, that's how you can really you can tell that like, the quality is OD. I fuck with it. They got stuff on the hoodie. It say Redemption on this side. Uh, so boy in the middle just to let y'all know you feel me and on the back you got this graphic that i fuck with i think this is like a hollow halloween drop like i don't remember what i got i think i got this in like 2020 or 2019 
it got that and on the front it got this little like Halloween face or whatever like if y'all watch Baba Lamb this is I think <laughs> this is dead as the, the logo that Baba Lamb got I don't know if y'all follow Baba Lamb but I be watching that nigga a little bit but yeah this is a cool little hoodie I think this was like like 80 something like that that last hoodie I forgot to say the, the brown it was like 50 or something like that this hoodie was like 80 or 90 I can't remember but yeah soul boy again soul boy they got I tell y'all they got good quality like this hoodie is hard i also cut the bottom off it though because i just don't like the, the the elastic band at the bottom and a lot of brands are starting to do that anyway like a lot of instagram brands are starting to do that and uh yeah but i don't really fuck with the elastic band at the bottom so i always cut it so they don't come like this just to let y'all know y'all gotta do that y'all so y'all can look up a video and it'll show you i got a video on my channel i showed y'all how I did this hoodie to be exact. It was exactly this hoodie. So we got this spider hoodie. If y'all watched the video when I opened up the scarf box, this is um what I got. I don't remember how much it said it was. I think it said it was 250. So, but I ain't paid 250. I paid 300 for the whole box, and then they gave me another shirt with it. So, but I mean technically I did pay 250 for it, cause yeah, nigga, what? But I don't know how much it retail. For. I'm not sure because this is like merch. It's not really like a real spider hoodie. It's like more like merch I haven't wore it yet just because like I don't know But I fuck with Gunner. Number one album in the world by the way You feel me? But yeah, this nigga's the GOAT. I'm actually kind of glad they gave me this one because I fuck with it like Yeah, but I don't really I really honestly don't remember how much this hoodie is I just know it's a spider hoodie and it's hard for real, but I don't have no blue shoes, like, anyway, like, except for, like, the ones right there, but that's not even blue, it still got red in it, so, I don't have, like, no actual blue shoes, so, I wouldn't have nothing to wear with, so, we got the scammer, nigga, this is from Lost Effects, you feel me, I don't know if y'all remember, like, a couple videos back, I was saying, like, he didn't send me my shit, and by the way, he still didn't send all my shit, I still got another hoodie that he ain't sent, and some shorts that he ain't sent, and they keep claiming, like, my shit is in production, but I ordered this in April, of last year it was like 2021 and it is January 2022 so it's about to hit a year and I still ain't got my shit so I would not recommend shopping with this nigga but he do like when you look on the site he got some hard shit he just don't make it my nigga but you feel me I fuck with this hoodie I don't really wear it like that because like I don't know that nigga pissed me off like by the time I got it honestly I didn't even want the hoodie no more so it just sits in my closet I wear it like if I'm like running to the store real quick or if I'm just going to somebody's crib right quick and I just throw on some. This is what I put on, but honestly, like, by the time I got it, I didn't even want it no more. This is more like a summer jacket. It's wintertime now. It's like a jacket like you wear with, like, shorts, because, like, it's cut short. So, like, you gotta, you can't really wear it with pants, or you're gonna look long as fuck, so you gotta wear it with shorts. So, yeah, but. Lost Effects, this was, like, I don't know. I got it on discount. I ordered it so long ago. I don't remember how much it was. Fuck this name. Um, I got it on Instagram. I can't remember exactly what it's called. I think it's called Current. The Instagram is Currents Exclusives. Like, this right here, Currents exclusives um this is just a hoodie you don't got nothing back it's a zip up so yeah red i took a picture with this on instagram too i want to see how it fit on me and shit like what people on instagram it's in the description it's on the screen somewhere you feel me go forward but really i don't like zip ups really that much because of the elastic band at the bottom and i really don't i'm telling you i really don't like the elastic band at the bottom like it makes like your shirt like tuck in at the bottom and shit like that like i just don't fuck with it but the hoodie is hard itself. Like I'll wear it. Like if I'm going, like I'll actually wear this hoodie. Like, bro, bro. so yeah. Current, current exclusives. I want to say it was like 82, maybe cheaper than that. Honestly, I feel like it was like 60, but it was somewhere between like 60 and 80. This hoodie is the cozy hoodie. The Instagram is us.cozy. If y'all watch Quan, or um, yeah, if y'all watch Quan, y'all know what it is. Um, y'all seen it? I ain't really gotta say too much. It's hard. Yeah, I feel like this is his hardest. His hardest drop, like either this or his like first one with the bat. It was these were the two hardest ones. I fuck with this. I just like my last flick is in this, so like I'm saying, I'm trying to y'all heard me say it a couple of times. Nigga, go to my Instagram. Like my last picture, follow me. You feel me? I'm trying to hit 2K on the gram, so make sure y'all go follow me. But yeah, I got this hoodie from US Cozy on Instagram. Y'all watching? Y'all know Quan, so. Yeah, shout out to him. He be putting on. I got from a brand. It's called Steezy. The Instagram is like stzy.us. This hoodie was hard. Like, my cousin, he showed me this uh this hoodie. Like, he, like, the nigga promoted this hoodie, like, so long ago. 
and he had like a little tote bag to go with it. That shit was so hard. I said when that shit drops, I'm getting it. Man, honestly, if y'all watching this video, like as soon as it comes out, he's dropping some some track suits this week. I'm telling you, them RD1, I will have one of them. So I'm gonna let y'all know right now. I fuck with Steezy. Like, I got some sweatpants from Steezy too. Steezy is hard. The quality on this is good. Y'all can see, got the puff print. Y'all can't feel the hoodie, but the quality of the hoodie is. I just gotta get some green shoes. Like, y'all look up there. I don't have no green shoes. I gotta get some green shoes to go with this, and I promise y'all, I'm popping out. They say no outsiders on the front. Remember when I showed you that Scarface hoodie? I said the perfect amount of graphics. No outsiders on the front. Nice and chill. Some on the hoodie. This is what really like. I don't know why I fuck with the kissy face on the hoodie. He does this a lot too, the kissy face. But the back, my nigga, the back is hard. Like, I don't know. I can't wait to put this on. Like, I fuck with Steezy. Fuck with Steezy. Steezy.us on Instagram. Make sure I go shop with him. Yeah, like I said, if you're watching this video right now, he's dropping some tracks this week. I'm telling you, I will be in one of them. This hoodie is from the brand called. Ah, I think it's called Outsiders. I know. I mean, I see that it says Outsiders right here, but I don't know if it's called like No Outsiders. I feel like it's called No Outsiders or something like that. But if you go on Instagram and type in Outsiders, you've probably seen this hoodie before, honestly. But yeah, I ordered this one. But yeah, this hard. I haven't worn it yet. But the quality, like the stones, like they really like hitting. Like you, the camera probably not doing it justice for real. But in person, like. I can have my lights off and all that, and I look like at first I had it on my chair before I hung it up because sometimes I be getting lazy, I had to be throwing my shit on the chair. And I look over there, and that shit will really be like that you can see the stones, you feel me? So, yeah, this quality, the quality of this hoodie is too, it's like real thick and shit too. The only thing that's on it is the elastic band. I don't know if I want to cut, I don't know if I can cut this off or not because of how like good of a quality jacket this is. Like, if I cut it off, I could fuck up the whole jacket because as you can see, the print is going over top of the the pocket so I can't like fuck up and accidentally cut off my pocket and then nigga I fuck my hoodie up so I gotta make sure I can do that the right way before I do it but if I can I will but yeah this is a good quality hoodie I don't got nothing in the back unfortunately but yeah this is a good quality hoodie this is like 120 something like that oh I keep forget to say the price the price on the on a uh steezy hoodie was like 50 honestly he's like he be dropping shit for the low too that shit was like 50 this is like 120 and yeah, I got one more hoodie after this, so. This hoodie is from So Up. It's on Instagram. Y'all probably seen it. If y'all, like, be, like, looking at clothes and shit on Instagram, this is definitely popped up. Like, this even still pops up after I already bought it, like, honestly. But I fuck with it. You got the little Malcolm X on the front. You got a graphic on the back. And yeah, this one's hard. I just got them. I just got this, too. Like, this is hard. And I found out that if I had got this earlier, nigga, it was only $80. That shit pissed me off. I paid... 140 for this hoodie and I stand for the movement so make sure I go fuck with sold up Yeah, so that's pretty much it for this video if you're new to this channel make sure you subscribe leave a like on this video You feel me help me get in a little algorithm a little bit you feel me we hit five we had like 5.5 k We about to hit 6k we on the road to 10 yeah I don't know let me know what type of video y'all want to see if y'all want to start seeing like vlogs and shit like that I don't know like like doing the fashion shit is hard like like showing y'all clothes and like buying I ain't got no bread to just be buying clothes like that you feel me but yeah, we on the road to 10K. We had like 5.5, something like that. We just hit 5K not too long ago, yeah. So we on the road to like, we on the road to 10K, you feel me? We about to hit six real soon. So make sure y'all keep subscribing. Like the video so more people can see it. Send it to a friend, you feel me? All that. I'm going to catch y'all boys in the next one, man. We been fucking, call a nine truck, come through. I go bucket, I keep that effing. I go for nothing. If he out of line, get him dropped in discussion.